This is it for you. Yeah, I'm definitely about to Kendrick you. All right, so I'm feeling sick, but that didn't stop Jordan from scoring 38 points, seven rebounds, five assists, three steals, and one block. Didn't stop him. So how did it stop me? That wouldn't happen, but that's besides the point. So when it comes to Kaiju, I'm gonna be honest, coming into it, I didn't expect to like it one bit. Just looking at the characters and like the character design, didn't think I'd like it at all. But before I even get into that, there will be spoilers for episodes one through five of Kaiju. So if you haven't seen it, I'll go do that first and then come back to this video. But without further ado, as I was saying, I've never really been a fan of the whole Godzilla shit, the whole kaiju shit. And I just watched like the two latest Godzilla movies, the Japanese one and the Kong one. But I'll be honest, the Japanese one made me cry. And I saw that in 40X. Like that was an intense experience. The way that movie ended had me crying in front of a couple of my friends. You know, so it was serious business. <laughs> you know, I was tearing up in the movie theater with a pack of um, Airhead Extremes with my chairs rocking back and forth like I was on fucking King Daka. That one was good, genuinely. And then Kong vs. Godzilla, or the newest one, where they versed the orangutan. It was good action-wise. Like, story-wise, it got a little corny. It was solid. I would give it like a 7, maybe 7.5 if I watched it with, like, good food. But that aside, I've never really been fully interested and invested into the whole kaiju genre and shit like that. So when I saw this kaiju show coming out i didn't have any expectations and i didn't like i wasn't excited for it but i did see that it was being animated by the same people that animated heavenly delusion so when i did see the news of that i was like i may check it out because heavenly delusion was beautiful one of the most beautiful shows of last year after watching episode one alone i would say i was definitely taken back a little bit and a little bit surprised by how much i was like starting to gravitate towards the show early because right off the bat, we see a dinosaur era level threat attacking the city. And we see the kaiju forces come in and eradicate that thing. And we're also introduced to our main character, Kafka, which I think is a cool name. Captain, Captain, post-game interview. Post-game interview, please, Cap. One question is all I got for you today. Even in that skin-tight suit, how do you keep that thing so big? Captain, please give us an answer. We need to know this one. But one thing I did notice about damn near every single character off the bat, it looks like they're about 70% loaded in. Everyone, like there's no freckles. And like maybe a character will have like a mole and I, and I get that's the art style at this moment in time I don't think I have an issue with it but I did see some people complaining about it and mid episode we find out that Captain Mina is actually his old childhood crush slash friend and that he was supposed to basically be up there with her and then the next day we're introduced to our second main character I think his name was Ichikawa or something and Kafka clocks in for his shift Kafka Ohio this is my brother Ichikawa part time student who will be on the force with us from today moving forward and he's trying to be on the defense force too. And let me tell you what, Ichikawa, that was this guy's dream too, but he's reaching unk status now. How crazy is he? He's pushing 30, nigga. Tokita, can you stop lying to the kid? You know I have the best ratings in the company. Month in and month out. Come <laughs> let's like, let's stop. OG, why'd your bitch ass give up? You know, there's a thing that's called like aging, young bull. And it's like, when I tell you I got out of bed this morning and it sounded like my knees were like someone knocking at my front door and I had to get up and go check, nah. I'll never give up. Oh, gee, I will never give up. I will never understand that dumbass logic because I will never give up. This is why I feel like this first episode was solid. That after they went out on duty, they cleaned up the intestines with the shit in it and everything. And like him and Kafka had their little moment while on lunch break. Ichikawa coming to him at the end of the day and being like, listen, I like really look up to you. I appreciate you from earlier. Then like bowed down to him and like got a bit vulnerable with him and him telling him that the age limit has been raised up to 33 and like was telling him he should still sign up and not give up on his dreams. Like that was very wholesome. You know, I, he seemed like he was genuinely gonna be like one of those annoying, like non-emotion type of like second tier main characters. I feel like newer shows have been doing better with that. Like with JJK, for example, like Megumi's another example of that. It's like, he sort of had that Sasuke type of aura to him, but then you see him let loose and then get emotional at times and get vulnerable and laugh and smile and get fucking sick in the head. So him opening up here a little bit was nice. And then out of nowhere, Ichikawa almost gets snuck by a kaiju coming out from the depths of hell. And Kafka is doing some sick ass maneuvers clutching up right now, saving his life. This nigga should have been dead three times over. And Kafka started getting beat the fuck up and like you expect that, like I didn't expect him to do any sort of damage to this hell spawned creature. And Kafka's getting tongued by the kaiju at this point, like he's in his mouth. And Ichikawa then sneaks him as retribution. And he got a good hit on him too because it looked like he broke his fucking jaw. That's that's the strength of someone in the, in the defense force. 
That's the type of talent we need out here. He did that with the fucking sign like this shit was Lethal Company. Ishikawa? You fucking idiot! I was having my moment like this was- Graham, shut it up. I already called the defense forces. They're on their way. That's not what the fuck I'm talking about. Look at my leg! But if I were to abandon you, I would never become an officer. And I would never get to the point of Kaiju number eight. I'm having heart palpitations. I'm having heart palpitations. That was the courteous shit I've ever heard, nigga. Yeah, and then the Japanese defense force third division to be exact they snipe this nigga three times and take him out no problem but if i'm like kafka and i'm damn near hallucinating due to blood loss at this point and i look up into the sunset what time is it right now it has to be like 6 27 it's the crispiest of hours right now and i see my childhood crush sitting there with a rifle in her hand and a fucking siberian tiger i would have been in the defense force tomorrow i would have found a way i'm proving to you tonight i'm not just a cleanup crew i'm not just the nigga that takes the cloth and then comes onto the court when the other team is on offense and I'm wiping down the court that's not me anymore I'm the point guard and we see Kafka wake up in the hospital room and he doesn't even get like five minutes to himself before getting freakishly violated by some shit that escaped the Jurassic Park compound this show early on did like really well with comedy the faces that they were making and I think it also plays into like the simplicity of like the art style on their faces like i think it allows for like these funny comedic moments because just him sitting here with this look and the shit being silent had me laugh and then there are multiple other instances throughout the first five episodes where i was like actually like huh like la like you and i was enjoying the experience like with like a smile on my face the insect telepathically like starts speaking saying that he found him as if he's like some sort of special being but yeah no this shit has some girth to it i would have been sick to my stomach if i was this nigga i wouldn't even <laughs> this fucking insect had some tonnage and girth to it nigga no yeah it has him clawing at the walls and everything that's sinister suckage right there but no the animation for this show is kind of beautiful whatever this nigga is in his kaiju form like the glisten in his eyes and just like the smoke coming off of him and everything and before i even continue on there's ending song Nobody likes you the way I do And all these demons you're fighting through Whoa. <laughs> I should be the 22nd pilot Dare I say, one more time Nobody got me the way I do When all these demons you're fighting through That might be ending of the year And this is actually me talking really quick a couple days later And I'm just noticing this And I don't even think I gave production IG permission to record this phone call between me and Mina at the end of episode one. I did not even, I did not see that they included this until I was editing this video, which really caught me by surprise. And um, I could definitely say I'm upset, but I mean like, I appreciate the love at the same time, you know? <laughs> yeah, just to give a little backstory, uh, she was talking to me and she was kind of just reminiscing about the past and I was just letting her know like, it's all good because she has me now. But I just wanted to check up on her. You see me right here calling her and jokes aside this was a scandalous scene and we see this um shot of her and i'm just gonna give it straight up i'm not gonna get too deep into the trigonometric angles but i would just i will say like this is these are the types of angles that come out undefined there's no explanation for this type of curvaceousity this is defense force ass <laughs> this type of voluptuosity is keeping our city safe there's not one kaiju that is getting passed this line of defense but i just wanted to touch on that really quick because i didn't notice it the first time watching and i felt like this was probably one of the most important parts of episode one through five but let's carry on with episode two graham snitches on him and it's like i get it but at least hear us out ichikawa was also a freak too though he just jumped right out of the window and they're like five stories up and as they're running away another s-class threat comes to terrorize a lovely mother in her humble abode Falcon. and he Punch. and turns into saitama weaves him really quick that shit was dirty and gave him the nastiest uppercut of 2024 so far and he and i think he does this punch like two or three more times in the first couple episodes and every time every time the animation is fucking phenomenal with it and the ost every single song opening ending and all the ost everything is so fucking good and after that he becomes a notorious kaiju because he was like the first to escape like ever in the history undocumented or some shit like that and both him and ichikawa end up passing the first exam so then they pull up to the second one okay ichikawa let's go we got this i always pass the first part but this second hey, part gramps. is usually the hard one for me so i mean we're a bit early so we can get checked in if you want i said gramps yes you you old bag of bones that free candy ass van is yours right it's in the way that's my parking spot so i'm gonna need you to move it now i'm not moving shit for you twerp fine you know what i'll move this shit myself 
And we find out that this girl is like the number one prodigy in the city. Like this was one of those scenes where it's like they had a lot of comedic moments. And it's like they do silence really well. Like when she called him old and then like it showed the symbols behind with the question mark, like old question mark or whatever. Like that was funny. And then his all of his mannerisms were like hitting every single time. If I was in his position and I was not only getting violated for my age, but this girl with wings for her hair pulls up to my company van in a combat suit that her father paid for and grips that shit with one hand and throws it to spot 53. And that's my only means of transportation. You might find me in prison within 10 minutes minutes something's happening like her eyes are so far apart they look like when you like max it out when you're making your me sometimes they look closer but then at some angles like that's how it looks with her i don't know i'm not gonna hate on her though because i do end up liking her character she's cool i'm glad that he flexed on her real quick he had to show because she may have this new generation technology combat suit but he is that old man strength that uncle strength and you only get that through years of experience no matter what new technology you could come out with fucking super suits and then give that to an 18 year old get a 45 year old uncle and he's lifting more than whatever the fuck Superboy is gonna do and that's just science old man i got a question though <laughs> no way you're coming to take this exam in axe body spray chocolate flavored right because that's some broke nigga shit you may get a fail off the bat for that nobody got you the way i do and all these demons you fighting through no but realistically if you wear axe body spray chocolate flavored or whatever flavor that doesn't equivalent to brokeness this is just this girl because broke for her is like baccarat rouge and that's like 465 at neiman marcus you know so we have nothing to worry about when it comes to her opinion because she's not like us normal people and i didn't even notice that she pulled up in the g-wagon though i like the direction so far because they're doing their little like exam and she's obviously just out doing the competition and she's going crazy. But nonetheless, like if he transformed, he's out doing everyone here, you know, but he's really trying to like do it the right way and like pass the right way. And in their actual exam, they end up having to go out into the training grounds with all the weaponry and combat gear to actually like fight the kaiju. And they're putting on the combat suits, getting their levels with it. And then obviously the girl's breaking records. She has like a fucking combat power thing of 457 or something like that. Ichikawa's like in the low 100s. And then of course Kafka's at zero. Has them thinking there's a fucking glitch in the system. And the exam starts and then this girl is on the walls like this shit is fucking Shut Black Ops 3. And she's on the fucking parkour course but like i think where their show is gonna shine is like the combat because like with kafka and his kaiju shit that shit is cool to look at just seeing him box with the kaiju and punch him but like even this wall running like call of duty type of combat that shinomiya was doing like this shit was great to look at too and this is what i was talking about when i was saying that like i feel like he may even just get in without even having to show his powers because he was supporting the main attackers really well because he knows the anatomy of these characters inside and out so he's giving them call outs kafka gets snuck for like the second time and then she saves him old man i'm not doing this shit with you i saw what you did out there in that parking lot you better show yourself or i'm exposing you to the whole fucking squad kiko do you save me i appreciate that you know what like i re i'm gonna go defeat the rest of them because i'm her like this is what i do i've been training my whole life for this and you sit there and writhe in pain and don't even tend to your wounds really like soak in that hurt and understand how much of a bitch you are at the end of episode three kafka has like his little moment because his leg's broken they're about to pull him out give him the protective barrier and he's like i'm not giving up he gets that main character power up and he goes from zero percent to point zero one so he's locked in now now as i'm recording this video episode five is not out so I don't know how good of an episode episode five is gonna be, but I do know episode four added another element to this show that I mean, I kind of expected with him already being like a kaiju himself, but it was sort of like the opposite and it made it like interesting in that way. But episode four, I would say is really where we get like a glimpse into like the potential of the show in terms of the enemies, right? Because Shinomiya, she's damn near got herself a nuclear at this point, and she finally finishes looking up at the sky, reminiscing about her dad. I was perfect, wasn't I? Papa. This shit was light work for me, dad. And then we have a nigga come from the upside down and immediately one-shot her. This looked like a Stranger Things Demogorgon. And the way he appeared from the smoke, like, they, like he's a very ominous looking kaiju. Like, I don't like his set of veneers that he has like those were definitely done by a veneer tech and that was not professional work at all and the ost associated with him too the sea was just so fucking dirty this is it for you yeah i'm definitely about to kendrick you and i noticed he has two brims so he must be from like the real deep ends of new york or something but no he he took care of her no problem like he could have probably killed everyone in the vicinity and i think one thing they did really well was her backstory because they didn't give us too much 
and they didn't give us too little either and it was just like showing why she acts the way she acts and it's not like it's anything new you know we've seen many characters who like act this way due to their childhood circumstances and i was very happy to see kafka transform for her like i thought it was gonna happen but the way it happened i really enjoyed it because she was about to get turned into air particles and then he just pulls up and he's just like good shit like i'm glad you're safe and he just transformed in front of her and as i said every time the artwork and animation for this nigga when he's transformed is so fucking crisp and it'll be interesting to see him get like an opponent that actually matches up to him in strength assuming that happens because with the two kaiju that he's faced he's just been on some saitama shit and the most interesting part of the show so far was the last scene of episode four i'd say an unusual incident took place today when the kaiju were suddenly getting resurrected like mercy dropped in before her ultimate got reworked like that's how the kaiju were coming up today ladies and gentlemen but believe it or not there were zero fatalities because i guess the defense force just decimated those niggas and like now that i'm really starting to put two and two together these kaiju aren't even a threat to us humans like if they took them out that easily we could probably just give them the fist why is this nigga talking shit on the news station we find out that this individual is a kaiju that could transform into a human and not a human that could transform into a kaiju so it's the opposite so then it just like brings about more questions about how customizable this shit is gonna get because this kaiju has integrated himself with kafka's old poop cleaning team and episode five honestly was a good one and it was even action oriented because it involved them getting into the academy honestly had me questioned a little bit if kafka actually got in because when ichikawa got accepted and he was at the acceptance ceremony with everyone else they asked about him they kind of like cut off what he was about to say i didn't think he got completely snubbed but i did think it was going to be something where it's like he didn't get accepted and then they see him as a kaiju and then bring him onto the force on behalf of all 27 of us i solemnly swear that we will lay down our lives and we will protect our nation with every last fiber in our body you averted a mass catastrophe when the kaiju started resurrecting you carried the team and you saved everyone here you know and it would surely be a shame like if you didn't because then that you would be a liar you would be a big stinking liar but on the tokyo defense force we don't have liars we don't we have honorable admirable soldiers that was a little specific like i wish kafka was here to get these words but i think she knows i'm a fucking capper hey pardon me y'all boys bathroom break bathroom break i'm here i'm here <laughs> wait that's og oh shit it's OG. <laughs> and i definitely appreciate the uh vice captain because he was vouching for Kafka up and down. Now, granted, he thought he was hilarious. And that was like one of the main reasons that he wanted him on the team. But he actually wanted him on the team and he didn't specify to them because he saw during the whole incident that the level of Kaiju power would ever spike up to like astronomical numbers for a brief second. And he was suspicious about him. Alrighty, since now we got everyone here gathered together today, let's hear a word from our sponsors. And by sponsors, I mean our beautiful, luscious, top of the notch head captain. Go get it, girl. Everyone, I just want to inform you. I appreciate you all being here today. And um, I mean, congratulations on passing. But also understand you can pass away. I, I assure you, a couple of you in this room, after the first mission, you will not be here with us for the next. Just know that now. So kiss your families goodbye. Because we could have our first mission today for all I know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm not trying to say that to scare you. I'm honestly trying to say that to excite you because that shit makes me excited because I'm a dog. I am at the top and you guys follow suit and maybe one day you could be up there with me. One day, I will be on top of you, Mina. Dot to buy, yo, believe it. Yo, someone get OG's yo. horny ass, dog. What is he talking Expel about? Him. I didn't mean it like that. I meant I would be on top, like up there on top of the world with you, like leading the pack. That's what I meant. Yeah, but no, that was a semi-intimate moment for them because she ended up walking off the stage making him do 100 push-ups and she was smiling and Levi's little brother was laughing at him. But yeah, no, so after that, Kafka, Ichikawa, and Shina go, Shima, she, I keep forgetting her fucking name. They go to Denny's and he's just explaining the lore. And it looks like this nigga's drinking aloe juice. That's how you know he's old. He needs everything he can at this point to get in tip-top shape. Hey, I'm gonna I'm a keep your shit a secret for sure. You saved my life and I'm appreciative to the moon and back multiple times. I do just want to let you know if there is any, like if I have any scent because I can smell good, you know I can do that. If I get a whiff 
that you are just a normal ass kaiju and that you intend to hurt anyone, I'm going to do a bit more than kill you. But I just want you to know that. That's just a hypothetical now. <laughs> Girl, you're not doing shit to me. I promise you that. But no. So they, they share that little moment. And then to end off the episode, um, it was basically just a lot of character development and character introductions with the other members of the team. And everyone's like mingling, building relationships and all that stuff. And they have like a little hot tub scene where he's gossiping about Mina and everyone finds out that they're childhood friends and all that. So that was like a bit of comedic relief. And our girl saw Mina in the laundry room and she was sipping on some Sunny D it looked like and she was looking marvelous in the lounge pants and the black tank. That's a special combination. That's one of the best combinations actually because there's like the jean combo, like nice pair of jeans with like a nice, nice shirt type of fit. And then there's like the sundress fit and then this might be like number three, the at home like pajama. I don't know, this, like this, this is up there. This is up there. But no, and at the end of the episode, Kaiju appears in the city and they're going for their first mission. So I'm assuming this might involve actually the talking one. And that'll be interesting because I feel like someone might die like early on. I, I just, I have a feeling some shit like that's gonna happen. And um, I guess we will see next weekend with that. But by the time this video comes out, probably like tomorrow or today. But so far, the show has surprised me. You know, I think the characters, while again, they are very like low detail and 70% loaded in. All of them seem very unique. Like they all have like very normalist tropes, except like the main three so far. Like they seem like they have a bit more depth to them and, and like flexibility. But a, a lot of the other um, side characters seem like they have a lot of the normal anime tropes. But nonetheless, it seems like there's still diversity in appearance and the way that everyone mingles sort of like mask those tropes up, if that makes sense. You know, it's not really something that's super noticeable because the conversation seems like humanish. It doesn't seem like scripted and robotic, you know, so that's why I like that a bit. And uh, the action's been great. It's a beautiful show. And I think they put the budget in the right places when they need to. The OST is phenomenal. Opening is great. Ending, it might be ending of the year. And I'm excited to see what this show has in store. You know, I really was not expecting to like this one but this is the one show that i'm sitting here week by week like waiting to come out and like i watch it the day it comes out which like is a rare thing for me you know a lot of the time i just like let the shows come out and then like binge but with kaiju i'm like no i want to watch this like day it comes out so i mean it's, it's been good genuinely genuinely it's been good and if i were to rank my experience with the first couple episodes i would give it like a nine like and, and the reason why it's not like perfect is because i think there still needs to be a bit more development with the story but i i can see that they're just building right now because the shit just started obviously but i think it has potential for sure it's been a great time and i, I know i'm really only watching like good shows like i want to watch like something bad i want to get like a seven or a six in here like i'm always giving out eight nines and tens every fucking video but we'll see when the season ends and i do like a full review of this because i think i might i think i might for this show this is good but no so that's it for now and without further ado on to the next one and yeah that's it